Hello again my fellow Starcrafters. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the best way to perform a Zealot Rush, specifically in Protoss vs Zerg matchups. Now the Zealot Rush will obviously not work on island maps where you're not connected to your opponent's spawning location by land, so do not try this on those particular maps because you will fail epically. Ideally, you will be performing a Zealot Rush when you have committed to at least two gateways earlier on and you have scouted the opponent to be going hatchery first before the spawning pool. The Zelda Rush works best when your gateways are unscouted or scouted after you have pumped out at least a couple of zealots already. So think about placing gateways in unorthodox positions that is more likely to avoid overlord detection earlier on. By this, I do not and would not recommend building your gates completely out of your base unless you're going for an all ring. But rather, building them in positions that could de de delay Zerg detection, such as over here or maybe over there. These positions are unorthodox, yet it is still close enough to the ramp or nexus that you could easily rally your newly built troops to protect the ramp or base upon unexpected enemy sighting. Now we're going to talk about the exciting part, engagement. When engaging with your zealots, you do not want to attack in a straight line, as you will expose your zealots to open flanking which will allow Zerglings to contain your Zealots and attack from all directions, as you can see here, where my Zealots were destroyed by Zerg player's army. Now if your Zealots engage in a way where they're closely clustered and literally side by side, each Zealot becomes an extra shield for their accomplice, and there would be less room for the Zergling to get in between and less surface area for the Zergling to contain your army from different angles, hence reducing the Zerg player's ability to flank and increasing the survivability and imposing threat of your army. Remember to keep your zealots close until you're confident that the Zerg defense has been neutralized. Yep, I just sounded like an American politician or military person. The reason you want to keep your zealots closely packed as a group is because if they're not closely packed and isolated, then the zealots could easily be picked off one, on, one by one by a small group of Zerglings. So keep your zealots together until the dying signs of the Overmind or Kerrigan are clear and obvious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, goodbye for now.